For me, one of the funnest things I've ever done was meet Superman. And if, if I'm in LA and I say, you know, I've met Superman, then they'll go, did you meet this actor or that actor? I say, no, 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 no. I met Superman. <laughs> And then I show them Action Comics number 14, and there I am with my trademark vest talking to Superman. So that was just the funnest thing ever. I'm director of the Hayden Planetarium here in New York City. That's my day job. And I get a phone call from DC Comics, and they say, there's an episode of Superman where we want to have him visit the planetarium and use the tools of the planetarium to observe Krypton being destroyed. The light from which would just be reaching Earth today. What am I gonna say, no to this? Of course, yes, yes. And then they said, do you mind if we portray you? Sure. <laughs> so that's when I had the conversation. And I said, you think you could take a few pounds off? <laughs> and they said, Dr. Tyson, this is the world of the comics. Everyone looks good. <laughs> so I had to ask them a bunch of questions because if I'm gonna be in it, I'm gonna to try to put as much science in there as I can without forcing the story to trip up. There's plenty of latitude there. But the goal was to present to Superman this view through telescopes and projected on the dome the real time destruction of Krypton delayed by the light travel time from his home planet. And in that moment, what he knew to be true intellectually, for him became true emotionally. It was a, a privilege for me to contribute in a meaningful way to the Superman lore. They come from real life, real personal spaces in those lives. It's the core DNA of the American people. Our world is no longer black and white, and our superheroes have come to reflect that.